Hello viewers and welcome to recipes you like. Today we are going to make cheese fudges which can be easily made within no time. Let us see what are the ingredients required and the method of preparation. At first we will make the yogurt. Pour 2 cups of curd into a muslin cloth. We will hang on this cloth. The water from the curd has completely drained out that we had hung in the muslin cloth. Now it has completely become a thick yogurt. Like it has, it is like in chunks now. We will add this thick yogurt into a mixer grinder. To this now we will add crushed paneer that is cottage cheese about one and a half cup. few almonds nuts almonds and any other nuts which you want to add then sugar This is formed into a thick paste. The sugar was little less so we added a little bit of more sugar into it. And to this we will also add 3 green cardamoms. Let's blend it again. The paste is ready. Now let's go to the next step. To a non-stick pan we will add a teaspoon of desi ghee that is clarified butter or you can even add vegetable oil. Let it melt down. Now to this we will pour whole of the paste which we had made. Keep your burner flame on a low. We will keep on stirring this till the whole of the paneer and the yogurt blend gets thick. We have been stirring this for about 7 minutes. Now it has started to become thick and is leaving the side. It means this is ready. Take a plate and we will grease the plate with a little bit of oil. Now pour this. Spread this evenly all over the plate. We will level this. Sprinkle a little bit of coconut powder all over it. Sprinkle some nuts over it. You can use cashew nuts, raisins, almonds, pista, anything what you like. Evenly distribute all over. We will now let this cool down and cut it after it cools down. You can keep it in a room temperature or in the refrigerator. After refrigerating it for an hour, we took the, out the fudge. Now we will cut. You can serve this instant cheese fudges or burfi as a dessert after your lunch or dinner. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe with us. Bye for now and see you in another episode of Recipes You Like.